So first we are going to download the data and then we will install Elasticsearch, Kibana and Logstash. All of them are free. And then we are going to import uh, the data we, we downloaded to Elasticsearch using Logstash. And finally we are going to create uh, the Kibana dashboard I just showed you. So to start with, what is Elasticsearch? Elasticsearch is an open source uh, distributed full text search engine and it is the most popular enterprise search engine. It is used by many famous companies such as Facebook, uh, GitHub, Quora and other companies. And Logstash is used, is used for importing data to Elasticsearch from different sources. It is a data collection and a log parsing engine mainly. Whereas Kibana is used to analyze and visualize data that resides in Elasticsearch. So as I said, Elasticsearch is used by many, many, many companies. Okay, so first let's go and download the data. The data uh, has about 15 million uh, recorders. So it is this one, 311 service requests from 2010 to present. And it is, uh, we are downloading it from NYC Open Data. I'm going to include a link to this uh, website in the description section of this video. And this data, it has about 15.6 uh, million rows and 53 columns. And its size up to this point is like about uh, 10 GB, I think. So we can go here and download it, go to download section and download this uh, CSV format, uh, I have already downloaded it, so I will not download it again. Okay, so Elasticsearch, uh, okay, so I have the data downloaded here. It is about 10 meg, uh, GB, what I have downloaded here is about 10 GB, so the data is from 2010 up to the point uh, you downloaded it. Okay. So after that, uh, after downloading the data, we'll go to um, the installation. Okay. Uh, okay, so first let's install Elasticsearch. To install Elasti Elasticsearch similarly, uh, go to elastic.co and what product is after that we have downloads here so we have elastic search here so click download and uh, you have uh, downloads here for different uh, systems so in my case i'm using windows so i download this one if i click this uh, it just downloads it and I have already downloaded it but let me just to show you let me download it to my temp folder here okay so after I download it I will unzip it also in addition to Elasticsearch I have to download the uh, Kibana Kibana is this one so download and uh, download the correct one for your system so for Windows I have this one uh, Windows, I have downloaded uh, Kibana, and moreover, I want to download Logstash. I have Logstash here, so go to Logstash and download it. For Windows, I have zip file here, so we can download this. Uh, also for uh, Okay, first let's uh, unzip what we have downloaded so far. Okay, so I downloaded it to here. Let me remove these things. Okay, so Elastic uh, download of Elastic Search has completed already, so I can unzip it here. Uh, extract to here. Okay. So to start Elastic Search, I just to go in Windows. I just to go to Elastic Search, 
then bin and double click this one elastic search dot path and uh, Kibana also has completed the download so let's unzip it this one is Kibana and go ahead and unzip it okay so Kibana is unzipped here in Kibana also to okay it is unzipping it here not yet completed okay so it is unzipping it here uh, okay uh, log stash it has downloaded already log stash also let's go ahead and uh, unzip it mm. extract here okay so this is log stash uh, okay okay so uh, let's see in the installation for the uh, for elastic search uh, it is simply after downloading it we have to unzip it and then to start it we go to the bin folder and double click the elasticsearch.pad for uh, windows uh, so here if i go here and if i simply double click this one elasticsearch.pad then that starts the elasticsearch server now it is starting uh, as you can see and it will not take that much time it says starting then started so once it starts it says here i can go to this uh, link and check it so in the local host if i copy paste this to browser i should get some response that shows that Elasticsearch is up and running. Uh, okay, so we have Elasticsearch here, as you can see. Now Elasticsearch is up and running. Okay, then we are done with Elasticsearch. Let's go to Kibana and see the things that we have to do. Once we download it and unzip it, it says download and unzip Kibana. Then we have to go to config kibana.yml. So, uh, okay, in here to the kibana folder, let's go here. And uh, by the way, kibana is still unzipping. And let's go here and edit this one. In, so in here what we do is we give the correct address of the address of our uh, elastic search server in our case it is localhost that is it is i'm using my laptop so it will be local localhost with port number 9200 if it is um, a cluster for example on uh, on another on aws or on the cloud anyway i have to provide the, the appropriate url okay so if we are if we are using a local machine we have to unzip to uncomment this to tell kibana that it, it has to use a, a local elastic search okay so we have so far we have uh, we have downloaded elastic search and made sure that it, it is working and uh, after that we also edited we downloaded kibana and unzipped it and we edited this link and told it that it has to use a local elastic search further if we want like for security and other functionalities we can also download uh, xpack xpack we have xpack here uh okay uh, let me first stop the elastic search i just started where is it uh, 
this one so I can just stop it by pressing Ctrl C two times it asks me if I want to stop it yes so I have killed it now okay so let's see let's install xpack if you go here to install xpack what we have to do is the first thing we go to the Elasticsearch folder in here and uh, go to bin so here I can start a command prompt and go to this folder cd So to, if I want to install uh, XPack, I have to just copy paste this thing, this part, um, and paste it here. So this way, uh, now I am installing XPack to to Elasticsearch. We have to install XPack to both Elasticsearch and uh, Kibana. We are going to see the use of Elastic, the use of XPack later. It is optional, mean we are looking at Elasticsearch and Kibana, but uh, Kibana, Elasticsearch and Logstash, but also we are just looking at the uh, users XPAC providers. So XPAC is installing now. Let's see if Kibana has been unzipped. It is still, it is still in progress. Okay. So it asks me if I want to install XPAC and yes uh, this one also yes so this way xpack is installed okay then after installing xpack it says uh, I have to start Elasticsearch how do I start Elasticsearch I just uh, go to Elasticsearch bin and I just double click this one Elasticsearch.path this way now it's uh, now Elasticsearch is starting okay then after that after installing uh, xpack to Elasticsearch and starting Elasticsearch let's install it to Kibana the same thing to, to install it to Kibana what we have to do is we go to uh, bin Kibana so go here copy copy this one then go to the Kibana folder where is my Kibana folder here okay it is still unzipping uh, almost done okay let's see yeah the log stash log stash has been already unzipped we have it here okay and Kibana is extraction of Kibana is almost done. I hope it will not take much. Okay. Okay. Anyway, until this uh, completes, let's see. Uh, what XPAC is product is XPAC so it provides XPAC provides security alerting monitoring reporting graph and also machine learning some of these functionalities are not free but some of them are free and it helps us like to for security uh, to to use our uh, Kibana with username and the password okay let's see oh, this is taking forever okay almost done now uh, okay let's go to the kibana folder and 